Okay, and we are back. Okay, 1.4. Looks like there's some weather shenanigans going on here. So let's do it. Okay, 1.4. It says, Kimberly experienced heavy thunderstorms on the 11th of March, 2019. Okay, Celeste, a resident of Kimberley, studied the weather forecast below, relating to the following day to determine whether it was necessary to take an umbrella to work. Okay, fair enough. She doesn't want to get wet. Um, so it says there, hourly weather forecast for Kimberley. So this is, remember 13 means 1 o'clock in the evening, in the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, right? So it's basically between 1 and 5. Okay, then we have all these different degrees Celsius. That's how warm it's going to be. Um, then it also talks about north, northwest. I think that is to do with wind, but also the question will help us here, right? So let's not get too phased by that. And then we have this percentage probability that it's going to rain, right? Remember, probability just indicates how likely something is, right? So at 20%, it's not too much of a chance that it's going to rain, but at 64%, it's probably going to rain, right? So let's go and do the questions now. Okay, so let me just double check. You can see what I'm doing. Excellent. So 1.4.1. Okay, it says, at what time of day is the temperature expected to be 28 degrees Celsius? Right, degree Celsius is a measure of temperature. And let's look. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, perfect. What time is it? It is 4 o'clock. I'm starting to sound like High School Musical. What time is it? Okay. Cool, so we've done that. Excellent, easy. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. 1.4.2 says, determine the probability that it will rain when Celeste leaves work at 2.30. Now, they're trying to trick us here because they don't give us 2.30, do they? They give us two and they give us three. But we know that 2.30 is between two and three, right? It's right in the middle. But thankfully, but the probability of it raining at 2 is 20%, and the probability of it raining at 3 is 20%. So it's a fair assumption, right? We're assuming we are using the data we've given to make an assumption that between 2 and 3, the probability of rain will remain the same as it is at both 2 and 3. It will basically say 20% for the whole hour, right? So we're going to say 20% probability of rain. Okay, and that is us done. Cool, we're gonna move on to question two next.